Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again for our 41st run and we got Eden once again. I do love an Eden run. It's so risky, but it's so potentially beautiful. Uh, we get camo undies, which is great. And I don't actually remember what this active does. So there's a protective ring of glass shards that can block any projectiles before breaking. Shards deal slow damage over time to monsters that contact them and apply bleed if the shard is broken whilst in contact with a monster. Interesting. Oh yeah, I've 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 used this before. It's not it's not bad at all. But yeah, camo undies here, pretty goddamn good for us. But basically, we can put this down, and um, enemies that aren't flying, <laughs> not these ones, will take some damage from that, which is quite nice. Also, actually, kind of an interesting prospect to have this with camo undies. To be honest, I think we can get something good done with this. Oh, dude, I've got a little bit of cold at the minute, and I need to like blow my nose. One sec. There you go. My ears were like a little bit blocked. And it, it was like, I had to relieve some pressure. But yeah, we camo undies and we can go like, boom. And obviously on enemies that are uh, flying, which seems to be a lot of them thus far, it's not great. But <laughs> on other enemies, I think it's going to be pretty good. This is, a, this is a pretty decent start. And we actually have pretty good stats as well, which is nice. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I like that. That's, that that's, that's really good. This is, a, this is an item combo that I can get behind. This is an item combo that I can get behind. It's very weird, and this item isn't exactly great, this space bar, but it's certainly not bad right now, is it? It's certainly not bad. And oh my god, camo undies. And remember when camo undies used to just be the invisibility and that was it? it I mean, it was fine, but it, it, like, it's so much better now. We are probably going to get a little bit annoyed by the glass breaking sounds constantly. But whatever. Right, item room... Ooh, this might be better. This is also a very good item. Um, kind of glad I came in here. Wasn't expecting so much poops, but see if we can get something from them. I don't know what's going to be better actually now because the 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 ring of shards is is in. I think it's more interesting. But the white pepper we've used before, and I think with camo undies it could be quite good. Probably could have utilized thingy a little bit better there. I think we'll stick with the white pepper, to be honest. It's just stronger. But I, I really like the idea of that ring, but I think both of these work pretty well for camo undies, to be honest. Both of these work pretty well. The prospects of getting a 9 volt with this would be really, really nice. Honestly, our starting stats are incredible this time around. Starting stats are very, very good for Eden. And half decent HP to start as well. I like it. Dude, super bandage off the bat? That's rare. Um, right, let's keep going. Keep going. I'm sorry to throw away that interesting active literally instantly, but the game do do be like that sometimes, where it's like, hey, you have an active? Here's another one. Literally straight away. <laughs> okay, we've got our item room down there. We'll leave that for now. But yeah, I can kind of set up my, all my fires in the right position and then get a bunch of enemies to run towards me. Right, how exactly am I doing this? Okay. Oh, troll bomb revealed some stuff for us there. Isaac's heart. Super tricky, because I actually really like Isaac's heart. I don't think it's that bad, but it can screw you. I'm going to see how the rest of the floor goes, and I'll think about it. It's a very risky item, but it has a lot of advantages, and it, I do I, I do generally think an Isaac's heart run can be okay. Um... You've just got to you just got to play well, um, which obviously is the aim of the streak, anyways. But it gives us a lot of uh, free entrances to cash rooms and all that sort of good stuff, um, immunity to spikes, and it is just generally like a good way of dodging damage on a lot of different bosses and stuff. But in the late game, it could cause us to to take the L, and I'd, I'd hate to lose it to something so silly. But at the same time, I've I've said before, this streak isn't just about the streak, I'm still about having fun, and it's an item I enjoy, so I don't just want to throw away the opportunity just because it's risky. So I'm gonna see how how the rest of this floor pans out. I'm gonna see how the rest of this floor pans out, and I'll think about it. Basically, if we get like a damage up item or something, or anything like that gives us a lot of HP, then I, I think I'll go for it. Ah, I didn't realize you'd be able to shoot through the metal block there. So, do you know what one thing that's really annoying? If you enter the room while firing, camo undies doesn't work. You've got to, like, not be firing. So, I've got to get out of that habit because I keep wasting my camo undies. 
See, like that. Like, that's just incredible, right? Oh, dude, there's a spider there. God damn it. Did not see that. Did not see that. That's the sort of damage we don't want to be taking if we're taking Isaac's heart. I'm, I'm really, really tempted to take it. I'm really, really tempted to take it. Um, I'm going to go check my shop as well for a soul heart, I think. Bomb is very nice for trying to find secret room here. Ah, shit! I forgot that that was a thing. You can insta-kill this boss with that and we gain... Okay, I'm pretty happy to do this now. Quality 4 item that isn't really quality 4 in terms of quality of stuff that we get. But, I do think that I'm going to go for Isaac's heart, considering we got a damage up. That's exactly what I asked for. We're also going to try and find secret room as well. I'm also going to check the shop for a potential soul heart too, because that would make, make things even easier of a decision. There you go. Ooh, what's this fella? Um, spawn a set of purchasable items and trinkets for sale. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I think I'm definitely still going to take this though. Big pill there as well. Right, secret room. Where are we thinking? Where are we thinking? I'm going to take Isaac's heart last, I think. Um, I would probably say in the crook of this L here, but it could also be right here. Um, nope, it's not. Okay, I'm going to suspect it's probably right here then. Yeah, it always is. It always is. Unfortunately, not exactly the item of our dreams here. Um, but not bad. Right. It's it's a it's a gamble, baby. It's a gamble, but it's a fun one. It's a gamble, but it's a fun one. Freebie. I don't know if I can take spicy keys by, for free. I'm not. I'm not going to try it just in case. Because I think that deals direct damage to us. This makes me feel better too. Guppy's tail's kind of nice. In fact, I will take the spicy keys now that I've got Guppy's tail. I need all the keys I can get my hands on. <laughs> right. And I'm pretty sure it'll deal direct damage to me, I'm almost certain. Second secret room could be here. Let's give that a go. Not, unfortunately. Could be below as well, but I'm not going to waste my other bomb on it. Okay, that doesn't. We, we can take that for free. Awesome. Devil deal... Nah, I'm gonna go Angel. I'm still gonna go Angel. I, I need as much HP as I can get my hands on, just in case the womb and stuff goes poorly. Oh god. I did- Do you know, I'm having a really hard time seeing the spiders. Poop grids have a chance to be converted to shampoos. Shampoos have better drops. Ooh, kind of interesting. Slightly risky, but... We can come back in there to pay for that and get some HP out of that at some point. Do gotta be careful, obviously, with the heart trailing behind us. We could easily um camo undies ourselves into a bad situation. The one thing you gotta do is hold fire and just release to, to poof enemies away from you. Which is a little hard with camo undies, I'll be honest. But it should hopefully be okay for the most part. Just gotta make sure to constantly be charging and releasing. Because it does it does have a pretty wide radius. Like, look at that, look. Look how far that blopped that guy away from me. I can't, I can't take damage to creep now either, I gotta remember that. I'm not gonna spend two keys on that unless I think feel like I need it. There you go, blocked that guy away. Extra chests. Rotten heart. Bit, bit spicy. Hey, half soul heart, lovely. HP is looking really good right now. I'm in a very, very good mood about my HP. Also, as well, you got to remember that you can blap away shots too. So if you think you're about to get hit, if you time it right, I was going to try and show you there, but it's probably not a good idea, really, is it? What we got going on in here? Oh, this is good. This is good. Lots more money, I hope. Um, I got hit by something there. Not entirely sure what. I think. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I think I was just not paying enough attention to where my heart was. But either way, yeah. Isaac's heart. Bit of a risk, but I love it. I think overall it's very good. I don't know what the spirit of Deluge is. I don't remember. But um, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take this and try this out. I've not used these before, really, too much. 
I think they are good. I think, honestly, camo undies is a huge, huge help here. Because with Isaac's heart, we can position ourselves a bit more accurately. Guarantees that the ferryman spawns at every floor, even floors where they wouldn't normally spawn naturally. Half the tour required for the ferryman. Wow, that's very strong. That's very strong. I think I'll take that, to be honest. The ferryman's, like, insanely powerful. Good. Yeah, the ferryman's very, very strong. Good. We've got golden keys at the minute, so we can open that up. It's also pretty good. This is a this is a very intriguing run so far. Sometimes fire a flurry of weak tears that spawn yellow creep. I never, I never remember this being good, but I'll take it. Eh, yeah, it, they leave creep, so it's it's fine. Gotta remember I can use my body as a blocker as well. That's another thing that's a, a big part of this character. Right, we've got golden keys now, so let's go. I don't actually know where we got our golden keys from, I'll be honest. It must have been from the stone chests. But I'm gonna go and uh, crack open this room here and see what's what. Um, D12? Rerolling all the grid objects into... Oh, wait. I don't know what the... What does the D4 actually do? I don't want to, I don't want to know what the glass D4, D12 does. I want to know what... Anyways. Right. Back in here, we'll, we'll play this out at least once, maybe twice. Ooh. That would change our boss into a devil room, actually. So let's go do our boss first. I'd rather have a regular boss item for the potential chance of HP. Rather than locking ourselves into devil deals. So let's go do that first. It's a bit of back and forth here, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. That's a very, very nice item to have though. Dude, I didn't realise that I'd get such a crazy flurry of shots with, um... What's it called there? Camo undies. That was kind of amazing. Old bandage. Very good item. HP and it means that later on, if things really go quite awry... We have the ability to gain HP on hit, which is pretty awesome. Right, back in here. I realise this is going to suck up some of our ferryman money. But I think the black hearts are worth it. Getting up to max HP, giving us a bit more leeway. It's very useful. Right, let's keep this train a rolling because things are looking good right now. Do we know a second secret room at all, we reckon? I mean, I'll no, it can't be there, actually. Okay, I'll, I'll just go, I'll just go. Yeah, bit stressful on a four, on a potential 41 streak, but I think we're making waves right now. I think we're doing well. Our lemma getting wisp eyes. I don't actually know what that is. I'll be honest, I have no idea. I'll be honest, I have no earthly idea. Haha, -ha, my active is already used, fools. Did we charm that enemy on contact with him then? Is that part of the Lemmageddon item we have? I don't know. Oh, unfortunately, another active item. Getting a bit unlucky with our, um... With our item rooms. I'll crack that open. Right. I think... I think I want to walk into some enemies and see if I charm them. I know it's a bit risky, but... I do. I don't know why. It must be the item that I have from uh, from my Lemmageddon Wisp, right? It must be. Crow's Heart. Taking damage depletes red hearts before soul hearts. Red heart damage can lower. Ooh, I don't know. That's kind of an interesting idea, to be honest, though. Kind of an interesting idea. Ooh, hello. Soul Heart is there just in case. We've got our bomb straight back as well, which is nice. Good, good. Yeah, I'm intrigued by this ability to just walk up to enemies and charm them. That was very close being hit there. Okay, yeah. It no longer works. <laughs> it, it was to do with our Lemme Get and Wisp. Yeah, no longer works. Damn, that was a pretty cool item to have, to be honest. A pretty cool item to have. 
panic button's kind of an interesting one, but I don't think it really helps us right now. Very annoyed to have not killed that. Oh, crab is actually really bad for us because of the way that it follows us. It's gonna end up hitting me on my uh, on my little Isaac's heart. I'm staying around these fires to try and have it pop up inside the fires. Okay, we got the crabs. The crabs are dead. Okay, no, I didn't get both the crabs actually. One of them was still uh, still alive and kicking it. Good, good. Can we do the boss now? Caves too, we could technically if we wanted to. I will take this because I do need more money for the ferryman. We are looking out for the ferryman this floor once again. We also have enough for a shop if shop is valuable to us. Stephen floor, not too interested in right now. I haven't been to the Stephen floor in a really long time, but unless things change with it, I I, I don't think it's worth it unless you just want to go because it's fun. Um, I guess I can use a hermit card later on. Don't have much use for it right now. Lots of spiders here. I actually quite like it. Even though it's a little bit laggy having all the creep and the little tears, I actually quite like having it. It seems pretty good. Good, good. Oh, we do have an item in here. We have scatter bombs. We got a joker card as well. Very nice. Got a suicide king there. That's a bit sketch. Right, I'm going to pop this, this Hermit card now. See what it gives us. Unfortunately, nothing great there. We'll bomb you, though, and try and get some extra bits and bobs off of you. Thank you. Okay. Don't care about those pennies. If it was a Luck Penny, then maybe I would, but it's not. I'm guessing our Ferryman will be through here. If one spawns. It, it says it, it does say it tries to spawn one when possible. I don't think it always guarantees it will spawn one sort of thing. Right. Joker there, we got to remember that's available to us. Unfortunately, the way that the the way that the the pepper spreads its fires can be a little inconvenient sometimes. Doesn't always spread them in the way that you'd want. We lost our lemme getting heart, but that's actually fine because the lemme getting things can be a little problematic sometimes. Good. good. Crack this open. Unfortunately, you're not worth much to me, but I will bomb you, actually. I will bomb you. But be very careful with the scatter bombs with uh, Isaac's heart. It's super easy for us to get hit there. Right. No ferryman. See? I, I had a feeling there was a chance that certain rooms would take over the ferryman. And I was correct. Which is a shame, because I kind of wanted one. <laughs> the whole reason I took the trinket, but it is what it is. Right. Joker card will keep on us. Got a 90% chance of an angel this time around, so I think we're, we're pretty likely to get that. Secret room-wise, um, not actually sure. Secret room is looking a little more difficult. I think it's probably right here. No, it's not. Could be up from here. This is just a, a generally pretty tricky one to find. There you go. You see... Bloody goddamn scatter bombs. I knew that would happen. Um, is this worth it? Probably not, but. Probably not, but give it a go. I mean, that, that could end up being worthwhile. Let's uh, use that in a, in a large room like this. We'll come back and don't forget that. Go back and get our soul heart in here. Make up for that hit. And quickly check to see if we've got any tinted rocks in here. We didn't, but, but, if I do this right, it'll, it'll cost us a few bombs. But if I do this right, okay, I didn't do it right. <laughs> I was going to try and form a bridge. Oh, no, we got two tinted rocks right here. What the hell? A lot of bombs used here, but overall... Not bad, and we got more keys as well with Guppy's tail. Keep the keys coming. Keep them coming. Right. Let's go in and try out this boss. It's the Raggy Boy himself. Didn't really play that Scatterbomb all too well, did I? These fires, though, they last a good while. They're doing good work. Unfortunately, I gotta say, I I'm almost guaranteed to get hit here because uh, I just can't get my... Uh, my Isaac's heart out of the way quick enough. 
I think I'm just likely to take a good amount of damage against this guy. At least another hit, I'd say. Although he's almost dead, so maybe we can get away with something spicy. No, no, no. Okay, we got him, we got him. Got some more HP, I will take it. And we did get our angel deal, lovely. And seven seals, I'm pretty happy with seven seals. Um, I think we will keep her going. Um, yeah, I, th I think I'm just going to keep going. Right. Now what do we reckon? Now what? So, let's come in here first. This is kind of good, because this just gives us a, a heck load of keys. So we don't take any damage from spicy keys. This just gives us three extra keys. Kind of a funny little room, this one, to be honest. Nice. Now, do I want to use my Joker card straight away? Probably not, right? I don't think there's much use in that, to be honest. And this, this is a room that I can see myself getting hit in. Luckily, I actually escaped that, but those guys chasing me down doesn't bode well. Got to think of who's priority, uh, priority number one enemy-wise, because... That bomber guy was definitely more more of a problem for us than anyone else. I would like another damage up. I think our damage is lacking a little bit. Camo Undies is still carrying. Oh god, that spike block almost got me there. Um, Camo Undies is still carrying a little bit, um, but our actual damage does need to uh, improve. What's going on here? Oh, uh, hello. I was very uninformed that you were alive. Ooh, this is... This is a tricky one. Isaac's heart against lasers is, is never a never a good combo. Let's take out all these first. Thank you for the battery. Ah, oh, you bastard. Okay, we're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Okay. An unnecessary risk for this run, but a fun one. Hey, here we go. Right. Ferryman time. Now, keeping our ghost alive here, no idea if that's going to be plausible. We'll try our best. You better not. I, I really thought that Isaac's heart then was going to go straight into that fire as we travelled. I really thought it was. <laughs> right, we got camo undies, which is great. The good thing is we're kind of somewhat... I didn't mean to leave there, but whatever. We're kind of somewhat used to, um, leaving. Let's try that out. Ooh, nice. Uh, it's, we're kind of somewhat used to, uh, protecting the ghost, because we're doing the same thing with Isaac's heart. And honestly, camo undies helps us a ton. Oh, come on, dude. And we can use our body to block the ghost from getting damaged, too, which is kind of nice. It just gives us a second to assess what's going on with the room. Which I think is very, very useful. Good. Last room before we get an angel deal, so that'd be rather nice. I, I never I never do, so so don't don't expect anything here. Oh, this is bullshit. Wow, I can't believe I got that. Holy shit. Spawns a random item for spawns an item from a random pool and will either give broken hearts. Okay, no, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go for that. I'll spawn the item for free. Oh wait, I don't think I have to take the item. There, there you go. Free item. Lovely. And we get Isaac's tomb, which is very good for HP in general. Also, could be better for trinkets, too. Good, good. I'm very, very pleased with myself there. The ferryman was a good friend on this day. Only costing five is legitimately absurd, but hey her. That is how the game would like to play it, so I will not complain right now. Also, Mum's Contact, a great addition. And considering it was free, I thought the item was spawned and then immediately gave you the Broken Heart or whatever. Um, not spawn it on the floor. And the fact that it had a chance to spawn one for free was pretty incredible. Yeah, Mum's Contact, very, very high chance to stun enemies. Re well, freeze enemies, should I say. Really useful. In many scenarios. Item Room PhD is not bad at all. 
We've got a few pills about, actually. Health up, I will take. I think I'm at my limit for red hearts for now. I don't think I want too many more red hearts. Because I want Isaac's tomb to be somewhat useful to us. More luck is nice. Don't know what luck is doing for us right now, but still. I'll take it. Room drops, I guess, with uh, Guppy's tail. Good. Bad gas. Allows you to restart the room. Okay. Can we just do that here? Cool. I didn't know you could fight the mini-boss again. That's kind of nice. Extra pill. And a luck penny. A little bit of range up there. Good. I'm pretty happy with that. Poison on you as well. That's a nice bit of money. Nice chunk of change. You don't get the dollar very often, but it's good when you do. Dollar's a pretty rare item. We'll crack these open as well. We're looking for guppy items from red chests, of course. Just as long as we stand in the way of these enemies, we're not going to have too much trouble. Way spawning your friend this time. There you go, baby. Uh, I can't hit him. He's off screen. But you see, this is this is why I don't get why people judge Isaac's heart so harshly. I think it's just one of those things where it's just such a big change in play style that people can't hack it. But I actually don't think it's too bad. And I'm sure later down the line when I'm on two hearts and about to die, I'll be like, fuck you, Isaac's heart, why'd I ever pick you up? But for right now, I'm actually quite enjoying it. I think it's a, a fun and interesting item that has... A lot of advantages. You've just got to play to its strengths. Got a lot better in Repentance. A lot, lot better. I've got a lot of bombs, so I'm just going to try things out here with Secret Room. There we go. More money that we don't need. Could go to the shop first, I think. I think people just got to remember that, like, you, you, you don't inherently need to dodge things anymore. Use your body as a weapon. Block shots using your body. It's the best way to go about it. I think the biggest problem is there's just certain things. Heals to full. Health when used. Um, I will autom Okay, we have to take that. Like, that's just ungodly amounts of good just in case. Uh, in fact, at this point, I'm fine to like just take as many red hearts as it'll give me. Um... But yeah, you just got to use your body as a, as a blocker. There's the certain enemies that do just unfortunately have a much higher chance of hitting you when you have Isaac's heart. But for the most part, I think you can get away with it. But yeah, having this fairy bottle, I, I, I did like my white pepper, but having this fairy bottle um, as a backup plan is very nice. Especially considering it automatically activates. Although I probably will still actually use it myself just for my own sort of feelings of safety. Pair throw there. Ooh, nice. That 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 creep then at the bottom just did a well good number on all of those little fellas he spawned. There you go. We'll take that and we'll joker here and see if we hopefully get an angel deal. We didn't. Unfortunate. Death's list. Can dub Death's List stack? Because that's an interesting item to stack two of, but I think overall we're just going to leave that. I don't want devil deals. I want angel deals. I, uh, more often, actually. Sort of more to the point, sorry, should I say. Is I just want to keep my red hearts for this uh, fairy bottle to actually be useful. Um, Nice. That's good stuff. In fact, so much so that we can grab it before... Ooh, when we grab it before the room starts, it uh, it also gains the camo undies effect as well. So we can get some really, really good bonus out of that. Obviously, it's not going to work in every single room. I'll be valuable in every single room, should I say. Dude. Guppy item, please. Nope. Goddamn. A lot of stuff there. Soul of 
Throw it down there as well and get that too. Okay, maybe I won't. Th this curse with the regens the rocks is so fucking savage. It's, it's chance to regen the rocks is so insanely high. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Bunch of random black hearts there that I'll just take. And I've got an eternal heart there. Honestly, let's just take the eternal heart. I'm, I'm super unlikely to lose it, aren't I? So, oh, it turned to one of these hearts. So that's kind of better. These hearts are very strong. I still don't like the way that that can happen. Where something that's already on the floor can then change. I, I I think, I don't know, like, the actual powers of Repentagon, but I'd love to see, like, if there is something that can do that. Like, something to do with Repentagon that could fix that. That would be amazing. Because it's, it's one of those issues that I, it, it, it does bother me. Right, we don't need any of this money. Taking it all, but we do not need... Good. Yeah, at the minute we're kind of plowing through the uh, through the rooms without taking much damage at all. But yeah, this this the uh, immortal heart, what's it, immortal heart, whatever they're called, has a very good chance of being able to save us some some HP damage. Shop once again. Uh, spindle is pretty good. <laughs> we'll take that as well. Two point five luck. Good devil disc. Decent secret disc. Alright, we got Tool in there somewhere as well. I, I do like the sounds of Tool. The dulcet turns of Tool. Ah. Okay, so this is a good thing for having that heart look. There you go. We get that straight back. And we can come in here and grab some of these pennies now. Not that we need them really, but... Hopefully we find another ferryman here as well. Hopefully one did spawn this time. Yeah, I, I, item rooms overall really haven't been very good. But our run overall is decent. I just think we need more damage. Our damage is still pretty low. Obviously not right now. It's, it's not too bad because we've got some devil deal items that are helping us out. Grab that bad boy. You want to keep lobbing your red buddies at me, are you? Until you do your little <laughs> bugger off. Oh, 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 spike block is bad. Okay. I, I just want to say, Isaac's heart's taking some damage here. Unfortunately, we lost our thingy heart. Because uh, those spike blocks were just in a terrible position. Had very little chance of getting away from them. In fact, they still are. They're like... Really making things difficult with Isaac's heart here. Thank you. Thank God that room's over. That was a, a really rough room for Isaac's heart there. Here's our ferryman again. Lovely. I'll do the rest of the floor first. Um, see what's what. But hopefully we can make that work once again. I'm surprised that we haven't had any good red chests yet. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for that. Good. Thank you, Mrs. Pooter. I know you don't do much, but what you do do is very nice. Oh, really? Come on now. I found open two pennies from one of those chests. Two pennies. Aw, oh, you fucking motherfucker. Okay, this is very, very bad. Okay, I thought he did damage. I don't care what's behind that door. Bye. Not a care in the world. Those rooms annoy the shit out of me. <coughs> I really thought he did damage. I thought I was screwed then. <laughs> I thought he was just going to ram into me and fucking kill me. Alright, anyways, let's give the ferryman another go and see how this goes. I doubt we'll be as lucky as we was last time, but we will see. We will see. Just use, um, what's it called? Camo undies to, to do what's what. Uh, this is actually a not bad room here. You don't have to worry about the spikes at all, so. 
made our life a hell of a lot easier. More rooms like that, please. I'm drowsy's kind of nice for later on. Thank you. Ooh, now this is a slightly bad, slightly bad enemy here. I'm going to drop a bomb on him. Tinted rock there. No small rock yet, though. Right, through we go. Play it slow, play it careful. Telepills is interesting. Suss out the room a little bit. Yeah, I got, I got a kind of pause on entering the room. That's very nice. That's some actual damage. That's pretty good. I'll take that. The I'm Drowsy is good. But we'll find another I'm Drowsy, I'm sure. Death card is great for this because we can just come in and pop it. Good. Cracker Jack's very nice. I'm going to stick with what i got going on right now. Right, and we do get ourselves an item purgatory. It's not great, but it's 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 fine. Right, away we go. Good stuff. Another success. Isaac's heart is making it easier. Right, Soul of Andromeda. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got going on here. Upon first taking damage in a room or whenever a cr at critical health spawns a mini Reaper familiar to attack enemies. It's good, but I still think the potential for items and angel items with what we've got going on is high. And I should I should stick with it. And the only thing is I'm going to have to do some extra exploring on the womb floors, which we don't typically like to do. But it might be worth it for the um, ferryman rooms, to be honest. Right, remember we'll have a spindle thing on the floor as we enter here, so let's grab that. Yeah, this was, this was very worthwhile to do. Uh, Mum's foot's a little bit of a difficult one when it comes to... Uh, what? Why is that fire rate so wild the whole time? What item did I get that did that? Um, Give me that. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. I would love to have mapping at some point here, but I don't think I'm going to be so lucky. Bunch of trinkets. Wow, the broken version of that. Great. I'll leave the... Oh, really? Another devil deal? I mean, if we get a lump of coal, I would not be displeased at all, so... Shouldn't be too too, too unhappy. Yeah, lump of coal's very good here. I'll leave the other blackout on the floor in case we take damage. We can come back and grab it. We've got a lot of things that work really well with camo undies here. The purgatory, the remembrance. It's all It's all good. It's all good. So we can, like, go grab Purgatory, grab the Remembrance. There's a little bit of over-exaggerated setup that we don't really need to do. Oh, we have Rock Bottom right now. I'm pretty sure we have Rock Bottom right now. From our Secret Room disc, yeah. We had Rock Bottom for a little while there. That would have been a fun item to actually have. Right, not really worried about the time spent here. It is what it is. Mum's contact once again, helping us out. Yeah, losing all that fire rate was pretty sad. That was in, uh, pretty incredible when we had it. Dude, sometimes them chests are just awful. It's very nice to have a golden key right now, though, I will say. These chests can be very good. Don't know what trinket that is. Um, paying for a devil deal. Ooh, damn, that's kind of good, but I won't. Uh, I won't take it for now because I want my ferryman's. That's rather nice. And another soul heart there potentially is uh, useful to have, just in case. Now we don't like this. That's why we want the soul heart. 
These enemies are really annoying, and for Isaac's heart especially, they're pretty bad. Because they, they, they launch... Any enemy that, like, does a monstrous lung-style attack, it can hit us pretty easily. But luckily, we get that. And we like it. Unfortunately, we've got this Rebirth Curse at the minute. It's called Curse of Rebirth, isn't it? Yeah, we've got Rebirth Curse at the minute, which is causing enemies to respawn, which isn't exactly ideal. But it's not hampering us too much. I am going to keep looking for our, uh, what's it called? A ferryman, just in case. I realise that the extra risk is unnecessary, but the extra item that it could give us, or health it could give us, what, that it has in the past, could be invaluable, so... I don't want to throw away an op a potential opportunity for something very useful to us. Dude, everything's respawning right now. There he is. <coughs> good, good. We try again. Gives us a lot of consumables even if we don't fully succeed, but I think basically the way we play this is we go through, we pause immediately upon going through to assess the situation. And then we take on, take it on how we can using um, camo undies to the best of our abilities. I think we're likely to do pretty well off the back of that strategy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is work. This is working well. We're getting a lot of these void enemies here. A lot of these void enemies. The rooms where it makes us, like, run for the ghost are the ones that scare me. But I can use my body to block the shots, which helps a lot. <laughs> that ability has single-handedly saved so many of these souls. Oh, dude, what the fuck? It's kind of bullshit. Yeah. What the hell? What? No. Come on. You can't spawn one of those guys. That's fucking brutal. <laughs> I should have just bombed him, but that, that was evil. I, I did not know the Void dudes could spawn those guys. That's insane. <laughs> it must depend on what floor you're on or something, because, yeah, that's that's nuts. <laughs> There's no way I was not getting my ghosty hit there. Treasure disc. Oh god, it's put our fire rate in a rough spot for a second, but... Little lamb? Little lamb, you are interesting, but... Where's my goddamn angel deals at? God damn it. Little lamb, you're interesting. Um... Yeah, I don't need you though. I don't need you. You're gonna, you're gonna hit Isaac's heart, I know you are. You're a bastard. There's some health for us, lovely. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Oh, it did red heart damage. I wasn't expecting that. We gained some damage from it too. I was really expecting it to do soul heart damage. I think everyone was, right? <laughs> I was like, I've got two soul hearts on the floor, so it'll be worth it, but it didn't matter anyways. Got some gnarly stuff going on right now with our tears. God damn it. What on earth is going on right now? Okay. Hopefully the ferryman this time isn't as screwy. Careful the laser. Don't really think I can get much out of those. I don't, I don't know if they can pair out with items those chests. I've never seen them do so, but they can explode, and I'm pretty sure that'll hit Isaac's heart, so I don't want to mess around with them, even though I've got some HP on the floor to mess around with. Okay, that was that was a quick quick room there. Okay, please stay away from me, little blood pallets. 
Pl platelets, is it? Not pallets. Platelets. Soul of Bethany. Right. Ferryman once again. This time, let's hope for a little wee bit less BS on the enemy spawned. Because that was... I, I would claim that was pretty unfair. <laughs> Most of the rooms are, like, super fine. A extra soul heart there in case we get hit as well. Now, most of the rooms are absolutely fine. There's a few here and there that are a little tricky. Good. Last one again, please don't BS me. Yeah, boy! And we get Circle of Protection, which I am very down for, thank you. Circle of Protection is very useful. Helps a lot on uh, bullet hell bosses. A lot and a lot. And it can freeze enemies too, I believe, which is pretty good. Is it freeze or is it just damage? Either way, it's good. Right, now we're looking for the actual boss. Which I forgot we hadn't found yet. We've got lots of health around on this floor. Ooh, what the hell? Golden Trinket plus cause an error there, weird. I'm surprised by that. That's a health up. Um, yeah, I'll take a health up. health up. I want enough soul heart room to to be useful, but I, I want so much uh, red hearts that when I get revived by my fairy, if it happens, it's actually like a lot of HP to come back with. Three of hearts. Beautiful stuff, right. I'll play you for the chance at a mapping item. I don't think I'll take a red heart, though, if you give me one. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. <laughs> Considering I just got an eternal heart. If I didn't get the eternal heart, hell yes, I'd be taking it. But I think for right now, it's not of a super high importance to take that. I completely missed those shots then. Wow. Yeah, second protection is so good for just turning shots into those herming shots and stopping them attacking us. But I think we're doing a good job of just keeping swimming. We've done a very good job of keeping our health high. I mean, we've, we've also been relatively lucky with uh, the stuff the game's given us. At the same time, I feel like, yeah, I have also played... Up to the standards of a run like this would... what the, the standards that a run like this would require. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> ah, bugger. How did I not get hit there? Isaac's heart, you demon. I, I don't know what happened there. Strength card. I still, I still want my two of hearts just in case. Thank you, and here's the boss. Yeah, this is this is one of those bosses that's like not that hard at all, but if Isaac's heart's in the wrong place, it's very difficult. But I can just like stand here and make sure you can't hit me. Unfortunately, you are gonna do this bullshit. But I can come in here and uh, destroy all of these shots with my body. Along with my circle of protection as well. There you go. Easy enough. Check out my devil deal that I keep fucking getting for some reason. Go away. Um, let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. When at half a red heart or less. Okay. No. <laughs> And then Judas's Shadow as a revive. We already have a revive. I'm not going to take that. I am going to quickly scoot an Annie all the way back over to our um, Soul Hearts, though. 
There's no reason to leave them behind, is the It's not much wasted time. It's not wasted, really, is it? If you're getting something out of it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this run's going. Pretty darn happy. And up we go. Up a we go. One second. Cool. Uh, we go there. Drink it wise, anything better right now? Every 30 shots fired is a charming icicle tier. That's kind of good. That's kind of good. I think I'll take that. Just because I'm firing a lot of shots, like, one every 30 seems good. Also, this is some bullshit right here. Slightly more difficult room. Yeah, we're firing a lot of these charming icicle tiers. I like that. Kind of had a feeling I was getting a hit there. <clears throat> right, go back and grab that burn heart real quick. And then we can fill it up straight away. It's even better than the soul heart we had before it. Flea Circus is kind of good, but I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on. Um, we will definitely pay into you and hope for an item. We get straight away every time. It's no longer half price, but he did appear. So we'll, we'll try the ferryman once again here and see what we get. Don't see what's going on here with this room. It's not good is what's going on. Use my body. Use my body. That was healthy as shit, man. Right. Oh, beautiful. Aren't you the best? This one's gross. Okay, luckily all of them only spawned one enemy, which helps a ton. Where do you come from, ghosty babies? No idea where they're from. <laughs> I may have made a mistake here. Okay, no, I'm fine. Some extra keys, thank you. And the last one. Come on, last one. Don't be a dick. I already hate this. What the fuck is go- What the hell's actually going on in here? This is wild. There's so much going on in here. I mean, luckily, we have a setup that allows us to do this, but normally that would be near impossible. And we get Fate, which is an Eternal Heart plus Flight. I like the Flight especially. Good stuff. I mean, the Ferryman this time around, that Trinket, very, very strong. That Trinket is very, very strong indeed. But yeah, flight, having that is very, very useful for us here. Allows us to protect our Isaac's heart a little bit better on occasion. A little bit of extra damage, a little bit of extra range, we like it. Yeah, every 30 tiers is pretty pretty often when you've got high fire out with camo undies. We're firing these freezing charming tiers a ton, and like even if it doesn't freeze, the charm is still actually pretty valuable, so... I don't mind whichever one procs. There's the freeze as well, though. Bit of extra luck for the next floor. Never hurt anyone. The range is also nice as well, actually, but... We already have quite good range, so I'm not really focused on that too much. Active item used for free. Hmm. That's definitely better than um, what we've currently got going on. Right, I am going to play this a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it didn't really, didn't really pan out the way I was hoping it would. I was, I was maybe going to use the question mark card there, but I'd rather save it for its actual abilities. Oh, I got the, I got the bug again where I didn't get, uh, didn't get any usage of, what's it called? How did I not get hit there? Camo undies. Camo undies didn't do anything.
Go away, green ghost. No one likes you. I've apparently just stuck the green ghost there forever. Soul heart. Unfortunately, not the payout we were hoping for. Secret room, maybe? There you go, baby. Secret room. I can't remember what character we're playing as right now. Is it Eden? It is Eden, isn't it? Run's been going that long. I do like a long run every now and again, though. They're exciting. I'm sure you guys like them every now and again as well. Communion bucket is pretty good. Not what looking for right now. Honestly, Guppy's tail has been amazing at giving us keys back. How did you dodge that bomb that I threw at you then? Wow, that was a very quick kill on you. Red chest, beautiful. Not beautiful. Sad. So very, very sad. People think Isaac's heart's bad. Ha! Fools! My god. A lot of HP right there. I just love the ability to like stand, like use your body as a blocker and stand right in front of enemies, like right close to them. Because it means you don't miss any tears, you maximum damage, and you yourself are, it's so unlikely that you'll take damage. I don't know what's better, honestly. Um... Interesting. Um, I think the question mark card's better, to be honest, than I'm drowsy. It's just more healing, right? <laughs> I think the more healing's better than the slightly less ch chance to take damage. Ooh, that was a bad hit there. I lost my eternal heart. Oh no. I'm actually not that bothered about the eternal heart, to be honest. I didn't need it. Right, Isaac shouldn't be too bad here. Let's just play this correctly. Right, hold off doing anything until we do this. This. And then we go like that. And we deal maximum damage early on. Unfortunately, the, this, this is a section that is a bit hard to not get hit on. Having the heart not be in the, be in the bad position to get hit is difficult. I try my best. Beautiful stuff. Nice, easy kill. And uh, what will our items be? What am I hoping for? Some on contact damage would be kind of nice. Maybe a Midas touch would be interesting. That's kind of interesting. Magnetos, whatever. Papa flies, kind of whatever. What's this? Um, tears become influenced by Isaac's movement. Kind of interesting. We'll give it a go. Ooh, okay. I like it. It's interesting. <laughs> oh, Lord. Quite the explosions you got going on there. Yeah, this is this is pretty much beelines to the boss, but we should get a good few items on the way, considering. Now, this is going to be a slightly rough room here. My hope is to kill one of these guys before the other gets to do anything. That's exactly what happened. Uh, unfortunately, I did get hit there, but... As I said earlier, having, um, what's it called, paid off. Bandage. Good old bandage. Good old, old bandage. Slightly crappy room here for us, but I think we're okay. I don't really know what's going on right now, I'll be honest. Okay, that 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 all seemed to go okay. It was weird. But it all seemed to go okay. No chest, unfortunately, yet again. I'm a bit unlucky with the chest so far. No, thank you. Give me that. All right, there's been aggressive and there's been stupid. Let's 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 not. Not throw this run away. 
I'd really like to keep the burn heart alive if I can. Dude, I, I actually don't know if I like this whole tears are influenced by our movement thing. It it's doing some really wacky shit. It's doing some really weird stuff. This is why I'm kind of like rubbing up against the enemies because I don't know where my tears are going to go otherwise. And I'm doing it anyways because that's just kind of what I do, but this is weird. It's kind of interesting because you can actually, it's called curveball. You can actually literally throw a curveball. It's kind of nice. But also at the same time, it's just not what we're used to, is it? So it's a bit weird. Ooh. Intriguing room here. How, how did that bomb not go anywhere near where I wanted it to? Dude, bombs. There you go, that's more, that's more like it. Kind of a tough room here. We, we still don't have great damage at all. Camo only still carries, so against bosses, we're not killing them that quick. Ooh, Sinus Infection is a very big grab for damage, though, especially against bosses. The Sinus Infection is still the main carrier for us when it comes to uh, dealing damage to bosses. Uh, not so, sorry, uh, Camo only is not Sinus Infection. More chests, please, game. Come on. And able to stick a bunch of bugger tears to them with camo undies right off the bat is, is very, very nice. Nice, we'll take that too. Ah! I'm getting stuck. Getting stuck on stuff. Okay. Horrible, horrible, horrible room here, but with the items we have, we should be fine. M mainly just having flight. <laughs> yeah, this 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 is this is a pretty pretty awful room here for us as well. Use bombs to our advantage here. I very much like to refill my burn heart here. We do have a heart back over this way. It's a little bit of a trek, but I think it's worth it. Bernhardt is quite valuable for us right now. Okay, we're just over an hour. It is a big, big boy run. Hey, I got a lock upgrade there. Nice. Potentially a few more chests. Thank you. Bloody Gust. Not bad, not bad. I should be playing a bit slower, to be honest, and taking advantage of the remembrance and stuff, but I'm just not. One second, I need to sneeze. I do apologize if you can hear my cold. It's probably not pleasant. <laughs> Bit of a weird room here, to be honest. Bit of a weird room. Ooh, Jelly Belly. Damn. Very, very good. In fact, Jelly Belly plus uh, Mum's heart is... Uh, Isaac's heart is insane, because we can do really high contact damage by walking into enemies. <laughs> Apparently not to bosses, though. Which is slightly a shame. Oh, damn. The tacos gave us a lot of extra damage there. When he does his little swing attack, it might hit me. Ah, nah, this is said and done. This is the beautiful. Stand up right against him. I'm gonna get my remembrance again. The remembrance is a good amount of damage. And there you go, baby. That's how we Isaac's heart. Isaac's heart is worth taking. Take it on all your runs. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.